Hi, my name is Matthew Moss, and I am an endorsed professor, holder of the Robotics and Industry of the Future Chair at the French National Conservatory of Arts and Crafts, also known as CNAM, which stands for Conservatoire National des Arts et Métiers. CNAM's core mission is dedicated to provide education and conduct research for the promotion of science and industry. We are assigned with three missions, training throughout life, technological research and innovation, dissemination of scientific and technical culture. These missions are embedded in our motto, teaching to everyone, everywhere. Industry 4.0 has initially been thought in early to mid 2010s, or at least presented as a way to improve productivity by imagining what new technology would enable for industry and what plan would lead industry to where it needs to be in the future. Technologies uh, such as additive manufacturing, robotics, artificial intelligence, connectivity, data science were presented as solutions, mainly to productivity and profit enhancements by operating quickly, flexibly, and cost efficiently to adapt and answer the customer's needs in terms of delivery, quality, and product particularity. Since then, global milestones have been encountered. They emphasize the need for a global thinking of what the future of the industry needs to be. The first one is the COVID-19 global pandemic. Uh, we understood that the world was clearly functioning in a wide, Earth-scaled system. Something that happens in a far country has almost immediate uh, effect on what happens in Europe. It also forced us to work in a confined environment, usually from home, which means tools that are space and cost efficient and are connected, particularly with the employer ones, while ensuring home and office security. The second one is the global warming and more particularly awareness of it, at least in Europe, and the real impact uh, of its effect. The causes are indubitably related to energy production, distribution and consumption, particularly from industries, but also from cities. It is supposed that social organization has an impact on how humans can freeze it. Finally, more recent events such as war have shown the importance of primary commodities and supply chain. To these emerging challenges, technology can still be considered as a key enabler. This techno-economic vision indicates how general technological advancements, often originated from non-industrial context, constitute the primary model of the industry of the future. It describes how industry will use technology to cope better in a changing world and economy and we believe it does this very well. However, we also think that it's not sufficient and to answer the changes the industry is facing, it will require to rethink its position and role in society. This is what some of us call Industry 5.0. It implies a shift of focus from technology-driven progress to human-centric approach, which ranges from safe, efficient, and sense-providing working environments to the working skills that are required. For example, large companies have tested solutions to adapt. They often have the resources needed to quickly develop and implement proofs of, of concept. Startups have the ability required to adapt quickly. We think that the small and medium enterprises are the less able to face the challenges. They need qualified and trained workers. They need specialists, obviously, but they also need a basic carpet uh, to build upon, a common understanding of new technologies. We thus consider that it is our mission to train people to program things, to code, to understand what a specific technology can do and what it cannot. And we must do it everywhere, not only in dedicated area and big cities. Um, I would say that this is one of the main challenges we face. Another challenge would be to coordinate and synchronize all the activities we have launched here in the CNAM. It is organized in 16 departments, eight in technology and eight in humanities. 
most of our researchers and teachers have a vision of what the future of the industry must be, how to make it happen, what focus needs to be emphasized. The projects must be known, shared, and explained. This coordination is another challenge we face, and I think this could be true at any scale, an institute, a country, or in world with Europe. On the research side, the labs affiliated with the CNAM are working on innovation in fields such as artificial intelligence, robotics and automatic control, connectivity, materials, sensors, interaction, etc. Highly recognized researchers work here, and new chairs have been recently created on particular technologies and applied sciences as well as in humanities. I could think of robotics, transport and sustainable mobility, materials, innovative processes, um, raw materials economy, or work and ergonomic psychology. The majority of the research fields behind Industry 4.0 are addressed, and I guess my role here is to synchronize all these activities. Regarding teaching, we try to be present everywhere in France. We have campuses in more than 160 cities through independent and autonomous regional centers. We also have centers abroad, and we propose distant training. As our students are mainly workers during day, this organization gives them the opportunity to graduate uh, at the pace they want, from where they want, and to obtain degrees such as masters of engineering, or to focus or to, to a particular unit. We are not trying to adapt our current degrees in automation and automatic control so that it suits the real needs of engineers in medium enterprises where the industry has still to be in the future. It means training a broader range of fields, including humanities, which means we have to know what is possible, who to contact, how to integrate new disciplines. It means for the teachers to be trained to have a common technology humanities understanding. But it also means leveraging to identify what scientific training is really required for an on-site, real-world worker, not for an expert. We believe this engineer, able to have a large understanding of the industry, will enable adoption of Industry 4.0 concepts everywhere.